Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm gonna be building a motorized couch. This is a project that I've wanted to do for a long time, and now I'm finally getting around to it. So, enjoy the video. Okay, so this thing's been coming along really nicely so far. Just got the steering in. That works really nicely there. This is the brake right here. 
That's just attached to the brake on the transaxle. Um, back around here, we've got the shifter. So you can shift through the gears there, forward or reverse, everything like that. So now I'm pretty much ready to put in the engine. This is the engine I'm gonna be using here. This is just a small Honda 160cc vertical shaft engine off of, I think, a pressure washer. I just have a centrifugal clutch on there, which will attach to this um, chain and sprocket right there to the transaxle. Pretty simple design, um, not much to it, but I'm gonna to have to get creative with uh, making some type of engine mount off the back here. And now before you go to the comments and yell at me for welding this extension right onto the axle there, I've got one more thing that you're really going to enjoy. Well, this definitely isn't the prettiest motor mount I've ever built, but it'll get the job done. It's nice and sturdy, so that should hold the engine on there um, really well. I know it looks terrible, but it, it'll work fine. So, I'm pretty much ready to put the engine on now. And this engine didn't have anywhere to actually hook up a throttle, so I had to kind of come up with my own thing. I took this old choke cable that used to be on the Ford mower, and basically I just kind of bolted it onto the fan cover up here, have that coming down connecting here to um, the governor arm which is connected to the throttle. So you can just pull this choke cable here and work the throttle like that. All right, so this thing has actually been performing really nicely. I'm very happy with um, how it's doing. It is really slow though, even in sixth gear. So I'm probably gonna play around with the gearing ratio from the engine to the transaxle right there. Probably put a smaller sprocket right there just to see what that does. The other thing I noticed about having the throttle linkage hooked through the governor arm like that is the governor will hold the engine at just high enough idle um, for the clutch to still engage the transmission. So you, you can just kind of sit back and relax as this thing kind of cruises along. And then whenever you want to, you can just kind of reach over, give this a little bump for, for a little boost. So I really like how that's working out as well. Um, I don't have the backs on there right now because I accidentally left one of them out in the rain. So that one's drying off, but I'll get those on. 
and you'll probably see this in another video coming up fairly soon I think this needs some some racing flames on there to add some more horsepower so anyways this has been a really fun project something I've wanted to do for a long time and I finally got around to it so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time